Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at a reduction of an imine right here with sodium borohydride and lithium aluminum hydride. And then the second half of the video we are going to take a look at these two reagents and how they, what you'll learn is actually only lithium aluminum hydride is able to uh, reduce nitriles. If you want to try to reduce a nitrile with sodium borohydride, you're going to have to add a catalyst and uh, soup it up a little bit more. So we'll see that in a, at the second half. So in the first half, what happens here is we have ourselves a amine, and treat amines kind of like this. What if I drew something analogous that looked like this? If I took a aldehyde and treated it with sodium borohydride, what would my product look like? It would look like this. And the reason why, one reason why is because we know that carbonyl carbon right there is electron poor. So the hydride here can come in and do its thing, right? So with an amine, you got to look at this carbon right here, analogous to a carbonyl carbon. It's, it's electron poor. So this sodium borohydride is going to add its hydrogen to that carbon. So the product for this top green reaction here would be something to look like this. This green hydrogen right there if I label it hydrogen 1, hydrogen 1, <clears throat> and then we've added a second hydrogen, I'll label it hydrogen 2. That hydrogen 2 right there is coming from the hydride right there. But what else is happening here? There's also a hydrogen that's being added to the nitrogen. And that hydrogen right there is coming from the solvent via proton transfer. And so when we use lithium aluminum hydride for the amine, we are going to get the exact same product. We will have H2, H1. That's H1 there. So H2 came from the hydride. And then this hydrogen that was attached was added to the nitrogen atom right there is going to, uh, that hydrogen right there is going to come from the acidic workup. So let's take a look here. So I am only going to go through one mechanism. I'm just going to use the sodium borohydride to show how this mechanism works. But with the lithium aluminum hydride, it's going to be the same process. So let's clear up some board space here and take a look at this mechanism here. So I'm just going to start over fresh right here. For our cells are amine, there's our hydrogen, there's a lone pair. Our boro, or our hydride right here, I'm going to represent it like this now. Uh, put the hydrogen there. There's our hydride species, and I talked about how this carbon right here is the electron poor carbon. So electron rich, attacking electron poor, like so. Can't form a Texas carbon, so we have to bring the pi electrons to the more electronegative atom, right there. And so that's our first step right there, and that will generate this species. There's our H1. Let's actually...
So that's H1, that's where we originated. That's going to be our H2, H2. And now that nitrogen right there is going to be negatively charged. And so this mechanistic step right there, that would be our nucleophilic. Nucleophilic addition. So nucleophilic addition step. And then we have ethanol floating around. I'll put that over here. So let's just draw it out like so. So there's our ethanol. And you can see electron rich, uh, polar product solvent. So we'll take that lone pair and come and grab our proton to generate our product. And I'm going to put the hydrogen up here just because it looks better to me putting it there. So H1, H2. So what have we done overall? We have taken a imine and reduced it to a amine. And so if you use lithium aluminum hydride, it's going to follow the, the same mechanistic steps, other than it just has to be done in a stepwise order. Let's take a look at the mechanism of amines with lithium aluminum hydride. So this is our first step right here where the aluminum hydride right here, electron rich, electron poor, goes like that. And that's, there's already a lone pair right there. So when we do that, that's going to give us this species, negatively charged, and I'll label that hydrogen one and that hydrogen two so we can see where they're coming from. And then we would have our aluminum species right there. Not, not, no, no, no. Just put a little plus sign there. So what is this first step? That's a nucleophilic addition step. Now the markers are getting squeaky. And so that is step one in the reaction. And then we have step two, which is simply going to be a proton transfer. So a proton transfer, so that means we would add an acidic workup. So we will just draw hydronium that encompasses all of that. We see our nitrogen species right here is electron rich. Take that lone pair, grab a proton, and do a proton transfer mechanism. And lo and behold, we get the same product that you do with sodium borohydride. So that is the mechanism. Now let's take a look at a nitrile being reduced with lithium aluminum hydride. Now we don't typically use sodium borohydride because nitriles are harder to reduce than imines. But what, what's interesting is an amine gets uh, reduced to a amine. Nitriles also get reduced to an amine. So that product right there will now, our product is going to look like this. And what did we add here? Take a look at what's going on here. So we have a carbon with no hydrogens and a nitrogen with no hydrogens. But well, look at the end product here. This carbon right here has added two hydrogens to the carbon and two carbons to the nitrogen. 
And so the mechanism will help us explain where these hydrogens come from. But I want to just jump right ahead to the answer. These two hydrogens right here are being added from the reducing agent, lithium aluminum hydride. Looks like we're done with that marker for today. And then these two hydrogens on the nitrogen atom are coming from the acidic workup. So let's go through this. Another thing that you need to see here is the analogy that if we have a aldehyde or a ketone and we treated that ketone with lithium aluminum hydride, we know we would generate a alcohol. And it's that carbonyl carbon right there that is electron poor. So with the nitriles, we're going to think about this carbon right there as like a carbonyl. That's electron poor. So that's where the hydride is going to want to donate its hydrogen, is to this electrophilic carbon. So let's take a look at this mechanism and how we are going to do this. So first, let's expand out the hydride right here, like so. So electron poor, electron rich, we'll take those electrons and form that carbon hydrogen bond. That now forms a Texas carbon. So we have to take two of the pi electrons and stick it on to the nitrogen. And then that's going to give us this species. Our hydrogen was added, double bond to the nitrogen. And then now we have two lone pairs on that nitrogen and a double bond. So that makes that nitrogen a negatively charged species. Okay. And so what step, mechanistic step is that? That would be our nucleophilic addition step. Right there. Now, I want to highlight this, that this mechanism that I'm showing you is a oversimplification. But it is good to get you through what you need to know for sophomore organic chemistry. What's going to happen next is another addition of our hydride. So we have another mole of our hydride and we will do a second nucleophilic addition step. Nucleophilic addition step. So Na, <laughs> that doesn't look good now, does it? Nucleophilic addition step. Nucleophilic addition. There we go. So that happens again, like so, and like that. To generate this, a second addition there, nitrogen. And now that's going to be a minus 2. And now with that minus 2, very electron rich, we will then do our acidic workup. And the blue marker is now getting a little weak. So we are going to do a proton transfer. We'll come and do that like so. We could. And what do you think we're going to do next? another proton transfer with the solvent. So 
So we do a, a second proton transfer. Generate our product right there. Pretty slick. So the thing to remember when you want to reduce nitriles into amines, lithium aluminum hydride is the choice of reagent. Sodium borohydride, it's too weak to do it by itself.